All right, hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can run the new 1.17 glitchless seed. Uh, I'm going to be showing you what I believe is the most optimized way that speedrunners have found out how to how to run this seed properly. But this seed was found out about like one week ago, so make sure to be doing your research every now and then about how you can optimize the seed any more further unless you found out by yourself unless you're just extremely smart and you already found out yourself on how you can optimize the seed even more <laughs> okay so this is the new 1.17 seed for set seed uh if you don't already have it it will be in the description just in case so first of all you'll spawn in this kind of area you can see it's in like a village right um now what i actually like to do is if your computer isn't the greatest See, I'm only getting like 75 FPS. That's pretty good, right? But I have a 144 hertz monitor. So I don't really want to play on this. And you guys might not get this kind of frame rate either. You might get like 30 or something. And you might not be used to that because in 1.3... 16 i think there's there's performance optimization mods and in 1.17 i don't think we have that yet but if you can find that definitely go download that that'll that'll help a lot but make sure it's allowed for speed running of course but yeah turn down your render distance because that can help your performance a lot and it's not against the rules but for this tutorial i'm gonna have it up to i'll keep it at about 10 so you guys can see what's going on so yeah uh, first things first, what you want to do is break that, take this, iron first, right, because it's the closest thing. Um, if you want, you can just, you can just do pickaxe, obsidian, iron, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's faster to do this since your cursor starts in the middle, right? It starts right here. So, iron, right, you just grab that, shift click, and then you would want to do the SSG looting, or I guess it's, I guess it's considered just fast looting now, but you want to, I guess, like, hold eight? No, you would, like, double click, it's, it's kind of confusing. I don't, I don't want to, like, explain how to do this because I literally don't know how. I just, I just do it, right? Get the iron, do that, and then get the iron pickaxe. So from here, you want to, while you're going this way, place an obsidian here, boost off of that, Break this, and then break this. And while you're breaking the glass, you want to jump up, and then be ready to break this afterwards. So it'd be like, you're breaking that, but also you're looking up at the glass, and then once you're breaking the glass, you jump up, and then you're looking down at the bed, so that you're not wasting any time in between switching between the blocks breaking. So you break that, then you go through here, place that, go through here, break that, and then like that, pretty much. But also, you want to strafe if you're too close. So, like, kind of like that, but I wasn't too close that time. Anyway, uh, place that. Go through here. Let me try again. There we go. That's that's what you want. Uh, so, from here, you break this. And you don't jump up. So, you break this, and then you break the bet, right? But then you jump up right after that. And then you want to start breaking this. But you don't want to be, like, latched onto that. Because as soon as you pick up the bed, you want to go back. But you, ideally, you don't want to break this glass pane. So you don't have to break the glass pane to pick up the bed. So right now, the bed actually just dropped, like, close enough to me. So that I can just pick it up without breaking the glass pane. But you want to be ready to break that glass pane just in case you don't pick up the bed. It will be a time waste. But you'll at least still be able to play out the seed. So that's up to you if you want to reset for that. But, so, once you pick up that stuff, you place this block here. Boost. Break this. Do the looting tactic for this. And then you want to actually build your portal right here, right? So you start here. So like, pow, 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 pow. And now there's a faster way to do this. Uh, the way that I do it is I build two, and then I jump and build three like that, right? Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, while I'm moving this way. But you can you can probably find a better way to do this. I would, I would recommend looking up how to do uh, SSG overworld portal. But... Then you want to go over here because through this wall, there's actually gravel. So you would break this, this, and then pow, 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 and then that, and then place a block immediately so that you're bringing the, the gravel towards you, right? Now, I didn't get the, the flint first try, so a lot of people would reset after that, but there's actually more gravel in there. Uh, so what you would want to do is after you do that, uh, if you didn't get it after you place the first block, uh, you can also do this, but... That's up to you if you want to reset before before you have to do that, right? Say we got the flint first try, right? 
Then you would want to go over here, here, light it, and then start mining these three blocks and then that one. Right? So this way, you now have at least six cobblestone that you can use to navigate your way around the nether. This is something that, like, I don't see anyone doing yet, but it's actually such a big boost. So what I do is I place a block here, right? Then here, jump here, place one here, go this way, place it here, here, you jump over that, and then like that, right? And you're supposed to boost off of that, but I don't I don't know if I exactly did. But you keep going down here, right? And then this lava, by the way, this lava will not be here if you're on two render distance. But what you're supposed to do is go past that lava, right? You'll just jump down here. You don't really want to care about fall damage too much. Although, jumping down from here to here to here, all this stuff. Eventually, if you just don't care at all, you're not going to have enough health. To kill the ender dragon right so you want to you want to figure out how to not kill yourself while going down here because you want to be at at least at least two and a half hearts because then you can have enough health to kill the dragon after this right you've gotten to this point right you you came down here you got to this point i believe the fastest way to build the portal here is you place a block here right as you're as you're running up you place a block there. Actually, I, I would recommend right here instead. I think this is actually a better spot to put it since it's uh since you're since you're jumping kind of further, I guess. If that makes sense. Uh you jump on this, and then you want to place four obsidian blocks stacked on top of each other, right here, right? Just like that. So then after that, once you're falling down, you want to place another obsidian here, here, and then I guess you would go forward a little bit, unless you don't need to, which I guess you can place it here, but it might be kind of difficult. It's up to you. Uh, then you do that, right? You want to jump to place that last one. And then here, here, here. And while you're going through this nether portal, you want to step back here. Not enough so that you are out of the nether portal, but enough so that you're off of the block. You're tricking Minecraft to make Minecraft think that you're not on the actual block so that the nether portal actually spawns down here, right? So that it's it's completely consistent that way. So from here, you just go up, just like that. And now this is up to you, whether you want to dig through here. It requires more blocks, uh, but I it might not actually be faster. I think I would recommend digging through here. This is what Rayo did. I saw it in his his world record, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to be world record anymore. Just at the time of recording this, I just saw that video. It's like, yo, what a crazy lad. Uh, but you, <laughs> you build up here and i guess you would need five blocks okay so what you can actually do is you can use the obsidian here right uh but you want to have at least one obsidian left by the way it's something i did not mention i completely forgot my bad uh but as you are going through the nether portal to get to the stronghold i would recommend turning up your render distance there because you're gonna need your render distance up for this ender dragon fight uh, i believe you need it to at least like 10 but i would recommend turning it up there because i believe it's less laggier uh and you're allowed to pause you're allowed to have dimension pauses i believe so you would turn up your inner distance there go through the portal press escape so that you can wait for your chunks to load uh once you're in the end and then once your chunks are loaded then you can go because i believe what happens is if you pause for too long in the end it makes it a lot laggier but i don't know if that really counts towards your time it's it's up to you if you want to change your inner distance there anyway pretty much you would go from here you would go from over here right not towards to the fountain directly, but you would want to go to the right side so the dragon has a more chance of a perch, right? Once the dragon is perching, you would... I guess it would be kind of difficult because you have to use a torch, but then you would place this, right? And then do your do your little one cycle and win the game. Uh, and that is how <laughs> that is how you do the 1.17 new set seed glitchless seed. So far from what I know. And I hope this I hope this video helps because I don't see any of these videos out yet because the new seed has only been out for like a week. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.